what's going on guys wingspan here and welcome back to another tutorial and today guys i'm going to show you how to make the combination lock wall door and you can see over here we have the 3x3 wall door and we have some levers and buttons and buttons are over here basically as some kind of the destruction because we have the pistons for our uh, 3x3 wall door uh, just behind these blocks over here so we can't really use that as our combination lock but the levers over here are actually our little combination lock and uh, they're really amazing so basically you can see if you just press a couple of the levers that's not going uh, to work because we need to insert the, the right combination which is in this case uh, this lever these two over here in the middle and this one last here and that's going to open our uh, wall door over here and we can basically go inside and do whatever we want over here and of course when we want to close it uh, just one of those uh, levers needs to be unpowered and that's basically going to shut our door over here and it's going to leave us uh, with this closed uh, wall door over here and uh, as I said the rest for this is incredibly simple all we need is of course the 3x3 wall door and a little combination uh, key lock which is probably one of the easiest contraptions with the redstone you can make and all it requires is some of the redstone torches that need to be connected with the redstone dust and basically the way this works when we uh, click the lever you can see that that's going to deactivate uh, one of the torches but our door is going to remain uh, closed because we have uh, three more that are providing the signal for the door to stay closed and even though we can uh, click uh, three of them over here as you can see that's still going uh, to remain closed because we have uh, one last uh, torch over here that's providing enough of the signal uh, for the door to remain shut and of course when we uh, click uh, the last one the there is going to be no restroom torches that are going to be providing the signal and that's basically going to open us uh, and open this wall door over here and we can go and do whatever we want at the other side so that's really simple and i'm going to show you how to make it right now all right guys so the blocks we're going to need for this are some block of our choice the sticky piston redstone repeater redstone torch some redstone slabs some levers and a couple of the buttons so basically we're going to start off by making our 3x3 wall door and we need to start off by putting three sticky pistons facing up like this and another three on top of them and we basically need to destroy uh, ones on the bottom and uh, basically because we want uh, these three sticky pistons to be one block above of the ground then go back here and put two sticky pistons like that and that's going to be our uh, double piston extender then go ahead put a couple of the blocks in like this and connect the pistons using the redstone dust then we need to make our double piston extender over here and that's really really simple so basically put the redstone repeater going into the bottom piston like that and click it three times then go ahead uh, put the block on the side of the top one and build a couple of the blocks like this and put two repeaters on max stick delay basically doubling what we have for the bottom one so go ahead uh, click that uh, like this and then you can basically go ahead and connect that with redstone dust like so and the last thing we need to do is put the block on top of the piston and bring it across uh, like this and put another block on top of the redstone dust like that and then using the slab over here we are going to connect uh, the redstone to it and the reason we are using the slab is because we had uh, the block that's just going to cut uh, the signal over here and we would just have to go around and using the slab just saves a little bit of the space so use uh, the slab like that and connect the redstone uh, to that block and the reason we have uh, this block over here is because once the bottom uh, piston pushes this one it's going to get into this position and we just need to make sure that this block has power and there is no need for us to put uh, the redstone on top of it because we have uh, the redstone line going directly into that block then you can uh, go ahead put the lever just to make sure that everything is working properly so when we click it we should see the double uh, piston extension and click it again we should see the double piston retraction so that's all working uh, great then go ahead activate it one more time and use the block of your choice for the door and just put it above of uh, the pistons like that then uh, basically we need uh, to retract uh, these two blocks over here so basically go ahead go three blocks out like this and that's just going to make it a little bit easier for us uh, to put the pistons in then go ahead put uh, the sticky pistons facing towards uh, the door like that and uh, make sure that there is uh, one block gap in between them and basically to power these pistons we're going to be using this block over here 
And now we are going to be using some slabs to make a little redstone staircase and basically using this redstone over here uh, we are going to put uh, the slab on top of the redstone, bring it across like this and lower it by one and that's basically going to allow us to put the redstone on top of it. Then go ahead and repeat the process, so put uh, the slab on top of the redstone, bring it across and lower it by one over here. And go ahead and destroy these ones and you can put the rest on top of it and last one over here. So basically connect uh, the rest on to it and we should see both of the pistons are going to get activated. Then uh, next thing we need to do is this block over here. So again go three blocks up uh, like this and that is going to allow us to put the sticky piston a little bit easier. Go ahead uh, put it like that and we can uh, basically destroy one on the top. And again make sure that there is one block gap in between the piston and the door over here. Then uh, we can use our blocks of the choice and basically make a little tunnel all the hallway. Basically covering uh, the pistons over here and uh, getting some room uh, to put the redstone to this uh, piston over here. So basically go ahead and uh, do it like that and we can basically bring this couple more blocks over here. Then uh, we're going to use uh, this redstone over here and basically put another slab on this block over here and that's going to allow us to put the redstone on top of it and uh, basically connect it to the piston at the top over here and that should work. Uh, there we go. And next two and final one we need to do are these blocks over here. So one more time go three blocks out uh, like this and uh, put uh, the stick pistons in facing towards uh, the door uh, like this. And again making sure that there is one block gap in between them. And again we just need to get uh, power to this block over here. So basically go ahead and make uh, finish the tunnel over here. So basically we are uh, creating like a 3x3 three three tunnel over here. So basically cover uh, the ceiling up uh, like that. And we can pretty much uh, cover this side over here uh, like this. And uh, basically go ahead and do the same as we did at the other side. Then uh, you can see over here that the redstone signal is just about to run out and that's why we're going to be using the redstone repeater just to extend the signal to these pistons over here. Then uh, go ahead put a couple more blocks over here uh, like this making a little uh, staircase and connecting uh, the pistons up uh, like this. And as you can see that should just go ahead and connect all of uh, the pistons and let's just uh, test it over here using the lever. That's going to uh, make our little wall door and click it again to close it. So that's working perfectly fine. Then go ahead use the block of your choice and pretty much just cover all of the pistons over here using the block of your choice. And of course uh, you can use anything that you want. So just go ahead uh, build a little uh, frame like this. That's going to cover all of the pistons. And do uh, one more block just to cover all of the pistons over here and covering one on the top. So just go ahead and do it uh, like this and do the same on this side over here. Uh, then uh, we're going to uh, make our little combination lock and we can uh, pretty much just uh, make a little uh, platform going over here uh, like this. It doesn't really have uh, to be much, uh, just go ahead and do it like that and we're actually going to destroy this lever over here because we're not uh, going to use it. So uh, just go ahead and uh, do it uh, like that and we need to make a little wall over here. Of course you can have the wall as big as you want but this is pretty much all we're going to need. So next step is to do our little combination lock and go ahead go one block away uh, from the door and put uh, the patterns in 3x3 area and as I said in the first clip these are pretty much just the distraction because we have the pistons uh, right uh, behind them and we can't really use them for anything. But then go ahead grab your levers and pretty much go ahead do it in 3x3 area and that's where our little combination lock is going to be. And for this we're going to need a couple of the blocks, some redstone torches and some redstone. And you can pretty much do any combination uh, that you want. So I'm just going to do like uh, these ones over here and maybe uh, the corner ones over here like that. And uh, the next thing is pretty much connecting them all with redstone dust. So go ahead build a couple blocks uh, like this uh, from all of the redstone torches because we can't really have the redstone uh, uh, dust over here. We need to have it one block away from the redstone torch. So just go ahead and build a couple of the blocks away from each of the torches over here and make sure that you connect all of the torches up with the redstone. 
So just go ahead and make a, like a little uh, staircase over here and connect that with redstone. And again, just double uh, uh, check that you have done all that uh, correctly and uh, you have uh, connected all of the torches up with redstone. And again, you can use any combination that you want. I'm just uh, showing you an example over here. Then uh, we basically need to lead uh, the redstone uh, down uh, to this redstone dust over here. So basically go ahead and uh, make a couple of uh, the blocks like this. And that's uh, going to make a little staircase that's going to lead down and basically connect it to our door. And that's uh, basically going uh, to close it behind us. And uh, basically when we want to open it, we need to set the right combination. Which is in this case, uh, these two ones over here and the bottom corners uh, like this. And that's going to open our wall door and we can pretty much uh, go inside uh, like this and uh, pretty much patch up uh, this hallway over here. Basically covering all of the redstone up uh, like this and just do uh, the sides over here and uh, two blocks at the top over here. And you can do anything that you want over here at the other side. And of course to close it we pretty much just need to click one of the levers over here. And again, uh, to open it, we need to put uh, the right combination. We can go in and do anything that we want on this side. But that's pretty much all I had time for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. It really does help a lot. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.